Yo, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna show you how I mix my vocals and how I record a song, like all of that. A lot of artists don't show it because they want to keep it a secret, but I'm not like that and I just want everyone to improve and get better at music because that's the point, bro. We need to evolve, evolve, bro, like Pokemon. So before we start, I just want to say I dropped my EP today. So if you want to check it out, the link's in the description. If you don't want to check it out, I bet. But if you do want to check it out, link is in the description. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So uh, save it to your playlist, whatever, and just stream it, you know. So first thing you got to do is download the beat you want to use. If you just go to YouTube and search type beats, you'll find a lot of beats. I normally use like Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, Juice Roll type beats, but you can do whatever. You can change it up and do some rock. I don't know. You're going to drag the beat into FL Studio. And the first thing you got to do is, of course, get the key right, blah, blah, blah. But before we start, I want to show you how the end product is going to sound. It's a song from my EP. So if you want to hear it afterwards, link is in the description. So this is a song. Okay, so that's how the final product's gonna sound. If you like it, I keep watching. If you don't like it, click the video off, bro. <laughs> click the video off, bro. If you don't wanna copy everything that I'm doing, I'm gonna sell my uh, FLP. So you can find that in the link in the description as well. I'm not gonna make it too expensive because a lot of people that are watching don't have like that kind of money, like buy it for $50. Like, I know I've been there, done that, you know. So we're gonna put it at like, I don't know, $20 or something because it took me like two years to figure all this out, you know? So we're gonna start off with listening to it without every effect on it. So we're gonna click everything away. I have Mac, so like there are a few bugs with Streamlabs. So you can't see the auto-tune when I click it and the other like non-stock plugins, but I'll fix it, I'll put a picture up. So this is how it sounds without any mixing except auto-tune because I don't want to expose myself. So like, it doesn't sound that good. My mic isn't the best. By the way, if you want to know what mic I have, I have the Rode NC1A microphone with a pop filter and like a screen around it. And I have the Focusrite 2i2 interface. A link to that as well, I'll put in the description if you want to buy them. Like, it's the best microphone I have used personally. I'm gonna upgrade like along the way, but for now it's good. So first thing we're gonna do is the auto-tune. I will put a picture up on screen cause you can't see it. But you need the right key of your song. If you don't have the right key, the song is gonna be shit. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not being mean. The song is gonna be shit. So put the right key. If you wanna know what key your beat is in, go to audiokeychain.com and drag your beat in there and it's gonna do it for you. So my beat was in E minor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the key and the scale to E minor. The input type, we're gonna put alter chainer. That's for like male voice, like a little bit higher. Like you got other things, you got uh, soprano, you got low male, but we're gonna do alter chainer. Just pick that. If that doesn't work, switch around with the other ones. We're gonna put the retune speed at nine. At least I did it. Uh, cause I'm not the best singer. If I don't do that, it's gonna sound whacked. You know, once we've done that, it's gonna sound like I just showed you. So the first thing we're gonna add is an EQ. This is the first EQ. I'm gonna remove some of the lows cause we don't want lows, like too many lows in our voice. It's gonna clash with the beat. We don't want that. So we're just gonna remove it. I changed this to like the, this, you know, I don't know how to say it. I just changed it to that. It was like uh, this before and I just drag down, drag down. So you click it, drag down until you see this and then drag it to the right until 124 hertz, 53%. Don't know what that means, but I just did it like that. Then first step, we're gonna remove some of the bad frequencies. So when we drag this all the way up and how you like make it smaller, you scroll up or down on your keyboard. So when you do this and you listen, like it, we don't like that sound. So we're gonna bring that one down then we're also gonna do that for this one. That one was on 229 hertz. This one, three. 
We're gonna also drag it up here for some, like, that's also a bad frequency. So, we're gonna remove that as well. Then around 2199 hertz, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna drag it up. I don't like that sound, so we're gonna bring it down like this. And then what I always do is boost a little bit of the highs because a lot of microphones don't have like a lot of highs and we just want to boost that a little bit. So around 12,119 hertz, we're going to boost it a little bit like around the plus six sign. Now it's going to sound like this. But that's not enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another EQ, remove a little bit of the lows again around 69 hertz okay not funny then we're gonna go to here 240 i think it says 43 hertz we're gonna boost that and we're gonna check we don't like that sound we're gonna bring it down also we're gonna do that and at 471 and then at 1710 hertz we're also gonna remove a little bit you're just gonna go through your vocals and search for like the bad frequencies that you don't like and that like hurt your ears when you put it all the way up. Almost everything's gonna hurt your ears, but okay, just do that. Then around 6,480, is this is one is gonna act like a de -esser. So what we're gonna do is bring that up as well. Hold on. God damn. I think that you're just not a fan. We don't like that sound, so we're gonna bring it down well. again. Boost a little bit up the seven. Don't know why I did that, but I mean, I just did it. Now it sounds like this. Then we're gonna go to the compressor. Like, I think that compressor like boosts a little bit of the low vocals and it like, like boosts them up and the high vocals boost them down. So it's like more squished. And that just sounds better. So my threshold, okay, I just want to say I'm not a professional mixer. I do everything by ear and just about like experience and shit. Threshold, we're going to put on 35.7. You can change it around how loud your vocals are. But yeah, this is how I do it. Then we're going to go to ratio. I put that at 8, 1. Then we're going to go to attack. And like we want a slow attack and also like a little bit higher release. So we're just going to copy this over. And then the type you're gonna put as soft. Almost all the plugins I use are stock. There are a few plugins that are not stock because I use Autotune that's not stock. I use C6 Stereo, that's like a multi band compressor that's also not stock. And Valhalla Reverb, like it's the best reverb I've used, that's also not stock. And then I put the gain a little bit up so it's louder because we want like loud vocals. You don't want the beat to be louder than the vocals. So now it sounds like this. Hold on, goddamn. I think that you're just not a fan. You know, it sounds way better. So after that, we're gonna go to C6 Stereo. Just copy these settings. I have no idea what I did, but it sounds good. And I just watched some other tutorials. So shout out to whoever made a tutorial on this plugin. If you don't wanna use this plugin without, it will still sound pretty good. And now it sounds like this. Hold on, God damn. I think that you're just not a fan. Hold on, God damn. I think it like removes a little bit of the bad frequencies and the, the good frequencies get boosted a little bit. We're gonna add another EQ. I still heard some like bad frequencies that I didn't like. Okay, this looks weird, but I removed it around 105. Then removed like bad frequencies again, as you can see. Then we're gonna listen to it again with like the another EQ on it. Hold on, God damn. I think that you're just not a fan. Like, it sounds a little bit better again. Like, overall, it sounds good now. It sounds good. After that, we're gonna use the stock plugin called Soundgoodizer. What this does is boost a little bit of the highs, like, like the good frequencies, you know? It boosts a little bit of that. I'll put it on the preset C, and then we're gonna do it like one quarter, cause too much is not pretty. Wait, watch. Hold on, God damn. We're gonna just put it a little bit. So, now it sounds like this. I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, next plugin is Reverb. You can use Reverb too and just like fuck around with like the settings. It also works. I've used it for a long time, but then I found Valhalla Reverb and that one just sounds 
Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. So the settings, you can literally just copy how I have them and just adjust it on how you like it. Now it sounds like this. Hold on. So like reverb is like the, you know what reverb is, come on. Man. Hold on. God damn. It just makes it sound like a little bit wet. <laughs> you know what I mean? After that, I use delay. We all know what delay oh, is. What delay I can't is. make it bigger. I'll just zoom in or something in the edit. So you're just gonna copy these settings. I use the pan, so it goes from left to right to left, blah, blah, blah. And it's gonna change through that. We like that, you know? We like some like variety in, what's it called? Ears, you know? You don't wanna put it like too noticeable because otherwise it's gonna be weird. So just click ping pong. Volume we're gonna put at 27%. Cut, we're gonna put 86%. Timing is going all the way up. When you're doing delay, you need to have the right BPM. So my BPM was 176. If your BPM is different, that's okay. Just change it, okay? Then offset, we're gonna put it all the way up. Then dry, we're gonna put at 80%, 79%. Eventually, when you get better at mixing, you know exactly what to change and what's wrong with your like preset. After that, like I put this one, like I, I turned this knob, so you're gonna click it and then scroll a little bit down. And then all the way at the end, I use another EQ just to remove, again, some bad frequencies that I don't like. I did it around 207, 480, 12, 13, 400, oh, 4051. That's everything, like I put those a little bit lo like lower because I didn't like it. Now it sounds like this. Uh, I didn't change the other one, but yeah, that's how it sounds. We're gonna turn this one on as well. And again, if you don't want to copy all these settings over, vocal preset link in the description. It's gonna be like twenty dollars. So if you're interested, buy it. If you're not interested, don't buy it, please. And don't like complain afterwards. It's not a fake file because a lot of people said, "Oh, I didn't get anything." No, you just need FL Studio. Like it only works for FL Studio. It works for FL Studio 20. So I'll make like more presets. Also for Logic, I'll make more. So if you're on Logic, I'll make a tutorial on that one as well. If you want to see that, like the video and comment what you want to see. So I also make beats. So if you want to see a beat tutorial, let me know. Let me know. So now we got the main vocals. So the next thing we have are the ad libs. So as you can see, these are the ad libs. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go here, right click, and then go to file, save mixer preset. You're gonna hold that and you're gonna drag it onto file for an, a different like channel. So what we're gonna do on that one, we're gonna boost the reverb a little bit. Before it was on 11%, but now we're gonna put it at 42. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Panomatic. What that does is make it go like this. And when you put it slow, it sounds like it's going around the whole room and that's just sick. So the settings I use are panning. Then we're gonna go to this one. This is how much, like how wide it is. So we're gonna put it at 69% again. <laughs> and then the speed, we're gonna put that at 61. It just depends on how fast you want it to go. If you put it real fast, it's not gonna sound good. That's how, literally how I do my ad libs. It's like the same vocal preset, but then with more reverb and a panomatic. Then we're gonna have another, another ad lib chain. I think this was, oh yeah, I'll put a radio EQ on the one under the stereo one. So you're gonna click right and click on radio. So now it sounds like it's coming from a radio. I mean, pretty underrated. You also got the old telephone. If you know that you're an OG FL master, you know, this is what the ad libs sound like. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna just give you some tips on how to sing. I can't like really sing, sing, but I'm trying my best. I'll, I'm getting better like every day. First of all, you need to have confidence. Confidence is a big thing. If you don't have confidence, it's not gonna sound like you're really meaning it. You wanna give a message, you know? You wanna talk to one person and just act like you mean it and sing loud enough. Don't sing like, hum, rah, hum, rah, 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 rah. we don't like that. No one listens to that. You you don't even listen to that. Don't put too much auto-tune on your vocals because people are gonna comment, you're a robot, bro, you're a robot. And I know some people in this are gonna comment Travis bot. Okay, some people wanted to, wanted to know what gain I use. I put the gain, as you can see, nothing hits like, 
this, like the the top thingy. It's gonna sound distorted. We don't want that. Again, I'ma say I'm not a professional mixer. It just, I mean, in my opinion, it sounds pretty good. A lot of people ask me to show me, to show everyone like how I mix. So I'm doing that right now. Some other things that I wanna show. When you're arranging, you can see like these weird like thingies, right? How I did that is you're gonna double click on the vocal and go to de-clicking mode and you're gonna click cross fade bleeding. What that does is it's gonna make like this and it's gonna fade in. So if you can hear this, you can also put it like this. It's gonna fade in. So you don't have like the clicky sounds when you start recording. Also people ask me, how do you remove background noise? So I have one big tip for that, buy an audio interface and a good microphone. Like if you use a USB microphone, it's gonna interfere with your laptop and you're gonna have background noise. You're gonna hear like, and we don't like that. If you really wanna invest in your music and make it better, I suggest purchasing an interface, a good microphone. It's just gonna sound better overall. So now it sounds like this. And how I record, I don't write, I don't like freestyle everything. I record sentence for sentence. So we got the first sentence, hold on. And then I just recorded that. And then we're gonna record another one that I said, that I said, God damn. And then I recorded another sentence. And if you wanna know how I like, come up with lyrics is literally just I use rhyme zone that's one random word generator sometimes works but just rap about something you have experience with so it's easier to think of lyrics of course you want to make it so you rhyme because that's how songs work for this song it's called golden boy and it's featuring Lil story as you can hear so shout out to Lil story as well again if you want to check out my EP I would really appreciate that. And if you have questions about my mix or about anything about like rapping, put it in the comments and I'll answer some of them. If you wanna purchase this FLP, I'll put a link in the description as well. That's basically it. So thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. Stay positive, you're gonna attract positive things. If this tutorial didn't work for you, maybe you can't sing. I mean, nah, I'm joking. Just keep on working, grind every day. You're gonna see results. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you wanna see more videos. Let me know what type of tutorials you wanna see because finally my Mac works with recording so I can show you guys more beats, vocals. I can't think of more. So comment what you wanna know and uh, I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.